Hi all, Jason here, local tech experts with another video for you. Um, I saw this ad on Marketplace and I thought it's worth a try. Sometimes you do uh, get gambles. So this is a um, Dell PC. Um, so I saw it on there, he listed it as not working. So obviously it's getting power at the moment. So I'm gonna um, take this out and and start it up out in my uh, workbench and uh, see how it can go. It's um, very dusty. I'll give you a quick look at how dusty it is. Um, so obviously it's gonna need a clean down first, but this is a Dell, it's a Ryzen 7 2700X, I believe. So, and it's got a um, RX 580 in it, so. See how it goes, you take a gamble on these things. I got this one for 250 after a bit of haggling back and forth. It was a bit of a drive out there, 40 minute drive, but um, sometimes you've got to take a gamble on these things. All right, I'll get this out in the garage, give you guys a closer look. Thanks guys. Yeah, so you can see there's quite, you can see there's quite a bit of dust going on there. I'm gonna have to give this a nice, nice thorough clean. But I didn't realize in the ad that it actually has a side panel, glass side panel, which is a nice touch. Um, I'll get this, obviously it's going to need repasting as well, so I'll get this out in the garage and see how it looks. Alright, so I've got it up here on my test bench here. Uh, give it a fire on. It's got nice blue LEDs in there. You can see all the dust build up all in these, in these grates here. So I usually like to power them on without touching them first just to make sure it's um, posting. But he did say, he on my way over there, he said that um, it started working again. So it was actually listed as a non-working PC, but um, got there and it was it was actually working. Um, mind my, mind any background noise, that's my servers running back there, <laughs> big old fans. So yeah, so this looks okay to me. Um, I'll turn it off. start breaking it down so here it is with all the as many panels as I could get off anyway I could probably get that front one off as well but it's gonna be a big hassle um, so I got all the shrouds and everything taken off ready to be cleaned as expected it's a Ryzen 7 uh, 2700X there's a uh, 256 NVMe drive there all the bits and pieces I've got sitting down here so the rear fan obviously needs clean PSU shroud it's like the GPU holder there's two four gig sticks of RAM in there so I'll change those out for eights uh, it's got a blower a card in there uh, I'm expecting this to be an RX 580 if it's not then I'll have to change that as well uh, RX 580, yep. So it's a proper one. Um, one terabyte hard drive there, that's the front panel drive bays. So I'll get it uh, cleaned up now. Obviously, I'm going to have to take that apart and repaste it. Um, blower fans are a little bit harder to, to repaste, but that's all right. So as well as blowing it out, um, get the uh, old wet wipes onto some parts of it, like this PSU shroud. Um, I'll hit these fans as well. I can get into the fan blades a little bit. Because if, you, if you've already disassembled it to this part, you, this stage, you might as well, um, you might as well get it as, much, as clean as you can, you know.
Alright, so I got it uh, going again with that 16 gigs of RAM. I had a bit of a panic because um, it wouldn't boot up, but then I reset the BIOS and it came good. Um, so I've got a donor card in there. Um, and because I want to flash a copy of Windows onto that flash drive, I'm um, using uh, a USB drive with Medicat on it. If you haven't haven't uh, used Medicat, I'll leave a link in the description. It's very useful for this sort of stuff. Um, so I've got Medicat loaded with Macrium Reflect, which is like a imaging software. Um, there's a lot of partitions on this drive. Don't know if I should back it up or not. Let's live dangerously, shall we? So I've got a number of ISOs. Uh, Windows 10 or a, I'll put 10 on there. Ryzen 7, yeah. So onto that Sky Hynix drive. Raise the disk. Expand the partitions. And finish. Alright, so that um, it's going to take a little while while that's going. I'll um, I'll repaste this card and get that back in there. And then it's the all the drivers and stuff like that. You can see this card. It's got lots of uh, screws on it. So repasting these um, blower style cards is a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. But um, I'll get that done. Come back and chuck it in. Cheers, guys. All right. So Windows has installed. I'll just um, give this a reboot now. I won't put the card back in just yet until it reboots into Windows and I can make sure everything's okay. I'm pretty sure this should have a license already on the motherboard. That's why I put Windows 10 on there. Um, yes, there's been a memory change. I should um, check the rating of that memory actually. Um, see if this BIOS has uh, profiles for RAM. But um, yep, so it boots into into my image. Uh, I'll shut it down now and get the graphics card in there. Yep, so at least we're getting a display. I didn't break anything when I was repasting it. Alright, so I put the side panel back on there. Uh, nice looking machine now. Been running heaven for a while. It's That's about what I'd expect from a 580. So it's finished a, a test. Uh, it's just one hour stress test. Uh, temperatures aren't great, but uh, average 30, 40 maximum 75 to 80 so not too bad not great but not too bad it's sitting at 35 at idle now so i can't imagine what it was temperatures it was getting when it was uh, all full of dust so this is how it turned out guys <clears throat> a bit easier than i thought it would be um there's always a gamble with these types of machines proprietary machines they have um unique connectors and stuff so it's not really worth buying them unless you know what you're doing and you can't case swap these or anything usually they have pr proprietary um, front panel connectors and power supplies and stuff so but um, this is very quiet now I can hardly hear it when it's in idle um, when it when it gets hot it um, picks up a little bit but generally it's pretty quiet thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one see ya